This time I'm walking to New Orleans. During his legendary career, Fats Domino had more than 30 top 40 hits to his credit and released five gold records by 1955, each album selling at least a million copies. The Fat Man, Blueberry Hill, Ain't That a Shame, Blue Monday, and so many more. His sound was unmistakable. Born in 1928, Fats grew up in the Lower Ninth Ward and began his life speaking Creole French. His parents had just moved to the city from Vacherie. By the time he was 10 years old, he was already performing in public and was discovered by New Orleans band leader Bill Diamond at a backyard barbecue. Diamond asked Fats to play in his band, gave him the Fats nickname, and the rest is musical history. Blueberry Hill reached number two on the top 40 chart in 1956 and turned out to be Domino's biggest hit, selling more than 5 million copies from 1956 to 1957. The song was recorded many other times by many other artists, but Domino's version was the one that stuck. After starting his musical career in New Orleans under the Imperial Records label, Domino moved to ABC Paramount Records in 1963, which forced him to record in Nashville rather than New Orleans. His sound was altered a bit, and the Beatles crashed the scene. Domino had one top 40 hit after that. By the 1980s, Fats was back in New Orleans, content to lead a life largely away from the spotlight. He did make regular appearances at Jazz Fest and other local events, but he rarely left the city and rebuffed an offer to perform at the White House. The rock and roll pioneer was in the original class inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and was honored with a Grammy Lifetime Achievement Award, the National Medal of Arts from President Bill Clinton, and a number 25 ranking on Rolling Stone Magazine's list of 100 greatest artists of all time. When Hurricane Katrina struck in 2005, there was concern Domino did not make it. He refused to leave his Ninth Ward home, which took on several feet of water. After several days, he was discovered alive and well after spending some time at the apartment of then LSU quarterback Jamarcus Russell, a family friend. Domino lost everything. In 2006, Domino was the first artist to be announced for that year's Jazz Fest, but he wasn't well enough to perform. He was back on stage, though, in 2007, performing at Tipitina's and later being inducted into the Louisiana Music Hall of Fame. In 2012, Domino appeared on the HBO show Treme, playing himself. A major influence on the music of the 1960s and 70s, Fats Domino helped define the musical sound of a generation, a sound that New Orleanians will never forget.